Hi, Rob. Hey, good evening. All right, Casey's here. We have, I think, most of the team. Hello. Hi, Casey. Who are we missing right now? We have Rob, David, Gene, Tobin, Casey. Uh, CJ. CJ. Chris, yeah. Chris Walker. He usually signs in last minute anyway, so we'll see him popping in, like, last minute. Fashion blue late as usual. I don't see him in the pen either, but yeah. Oh man, he would have been, he'd be good on this one too. This is a probably one for him. Well, he is on slip, so he's warming up at least. Okay, that's good. How's everybody else doing? Yeah, okay. Got to replace my bottom bracket after this. It's about going out. That sounds not fun. No. Got a little bit of wobble in my cranked arms. Hopefully it holds together for today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> At least I'm arrow tucking as well, so <laughs> you don't have to tell the whole time. Yeah, so let's tell the guys, um, each of the climbs will be about seven minute effort. First one starts at 2.1 kilometers, so it'll be about three minutes into the ride. And it's essentially four segments. So it's like a draftable segment, a steep section, a draftable segment, and then, and then you go downhill. So each like section is about a minute and a half or so. be a little bit less. And at the top of each um, downhill, uh, first lap is fine to use on the downhill because I think that's what most people were using it in my race. Second lap is best to save for the sprint because you can make up a ton of time there. And then at the finish banner, after the first lap, you pick up a feather. And I would recommend using that on like the later part of the second climb. Because like on the like last section of the climb, it's like you're going uphill really quick, and then you have a really steep downhill immediately afterwards. So you want to be kind of at the front of the group, otherwise gaps can open. Oh, sounds good. Just yell at us to go faster, Jen. Well, I mean, it's a punchy climb. It's your thing, right, Casey? <laughs> seven, seven minutes is not a punchy climb in my uh, definition of it. But. Part four is. <laughs> We just gotta break in four parts. No rest. Ah. Four, four punchy climbs. All right, well, fellas, good luck. Good luck, everybody. All right, have a good race. All right, so the first three minutes is going to be flat. So just kind of get yourself into the middle of the group. Enjoy the draft. Ignore the guy in the front. You guys will close. I always ignore Scotty. You guys will have the S player going downhill soon.
All right, the first time is going to start in 900 meters. So you want to be kind of in the middle of the group, maybe the middle of the front. We're going to start the climb when the road kind of turns towards the left. First part of the climb is draftable. It pitches up to about 4 7%. So right when the road veers towards the left, that's where the climb begins. All right, here we go. After that fork in the road, you're going to hit a support section of 7%. And then tapers off after that. So here's the steep section. Time to get through it. Around the corner, it's going to relax a little bit on the gradient. Right, in 100 meters, you're going to see the start of the the, lamp, um, the little laser. In about 20 meters, it starts to get a bit steeper. Right now, there's a stone wall just in the distance. That's where you start to see the 10 to 12 percent. Stay in the front half of the group the best you can. In the mini map, you'll see the road turns left. That's where the top of the steep statement is. So you just need to get around that corner. All right, good job, Rob. Stay right where you're at. We're in a great position. So remember, the next part is draftable, so you do want to be with the group. Temporary pain. Work, guys. Just got to get around the corner. And it'll be draft. All right, can you touch up just a little bit just to make sure that one of the wheels ahead of you? So right here, it's you, beside you. Let's go down to the corner and you have a very draftable section. So in case you give it like about five seconds, it'll be worth it. I know it's hard right now. Dog Rob, you're in a great position right now. Same with you, Jean. Dave is feeling really great right now. So make sure Scotty's doing all the work. You don't have to be in front. Just enjoy drafts and a little bit of recovery. TJ, make sure you get on these guys' wheels in front of you.
Yeah. So get ready to punch again in about 20 seconds. Can you get right on CJ's wheel? On the next right hand corner is where you get the final speed section. You guys are all looking really good. Sit up. guys David you're in a great position to stay right where you're at so Jean just make sure you're right on those wheels ahead of you you'll see some trees in the distance that will be the top you guys have about 20 meters of climbing left Jean, really just fight for this last little bit. It's not much more of climbing. You will have sharp downhill. It'll be worth the pain. About 20 seconds left, Jean. All the way. Rob, you're going to break the About another hundred meters, and we're going to have this really fast downhill. Breaking, stay right on these wheels. Easy size. And just really punch it. Move downhill on the other side of these trees. Take your dog log, stay right in that middle of the group. Right here, stay right on um, Klaus's wheel. You know, the other guys come in right behind you. Every position you get, Casey, is worth it. Touch round through. You will have a downhill soon. Right, teacher, you just give a good punch. You want to be with these guys every point. going to be three switchbacks. The first two are minus five percent, the third one's minus seven. If you want to use the angle on this downhill, use it on the third switchback. Alright, Tobin, just really fight to stay with this guy. There's two guys right behind you as well, so you'll have a, a faster group to work with. So if you're in a big group, some people may be using the ambles around you. You're in a good draft, so you go keep up with them. Yeah. Some of the heavier riders are able to arrow touch. Just make sure you punch around the corners because it does ease up on the gradient.
All right, so Dave and Rob, on the next segment, you can use your anvil. Okay. It'll be my seven percent tempo halfway through. Just this third quick step for me. So all the steps? Did I use my anvil yet? Uh, yeah, you can use it here. Um, it's the second lap is where you want to use that sprint. Yeah. Nice, Rob. All right, so next feature you're going to be waiting for is the um, escalator that comes at kilometer 9, 9.0. Or miles that'd be about 5.5. Bobby, up in the lead group. You made it. Uh, we have two in the lead group. We have David and Rob, and Gina isn't far behind. have a little group to work with? Uh, I couldn't be here. Alright, TJ, so you have a few routers one second back. Just be ready for when they come. They'll be moving a little bit faster than you are. Alright, so for David and Rob, the escalator's coming up soon. So you will have to punch it is 15%, about 10 seconds. Tap this quick little chicane, you'll see it. All right, so this is the 10 second effort you'll need to do. It's gonna be flat after that, so you just wanna make sure you're still with the group at top of this. Nice work, guys. All right, CJ, see if you can kind of work with this group. Um, there's a, a bunch about eight seconds ahead of you. All right, Tobin, you're going to be hitting the escalator right here. So it's 10 second effort, just hit it hard. Do you just want to make sure you stay right with these these three with you. So one guy coming right behind you, you can grab his wheel as you fly. All right, so for David and Rob, there isn't really too much happening for a while. There will be a short hill at 10.7 kilometers. But it's only about 200 meters, really short, and only 5%. DJ, keep working. There's only three seconds between you and the group head. Gaps closing, two seconds. Use this downhill here so you can catch on to Charles's wheel. Yeah, see with you, Tobin, there's two guys just up the road for two seconds. All right, so Rob and David, this is a little climb I was telling you about. Just a really short one. Just 
a little bit more and you'll have a downhill right after. Mm -hmm. So if you need to go a little harder right now, it's okay. You will have lots of recovery. Breaking, just sit right behind these guys. Make them do some of the work. All right, open. So after this, like, sharp corner, you're going to be going downhill. Let's so see if you can stick on this guy's wheel just in front of you. You can also use the downhill um, to also get catch the group head. Stay around the ATP guy. All right, so here's a short downhill. If you push really hard, you might be able to use some speed to catch on to the group head. Try and grab as much draft as you can. You'll have better recovery that way. It works, you got some good speed. One side cap, you can close this. Okay, awesome, you're, you're good. So just stay right with this guy, enjoy some recovery. All right, Casey, use this guy with you. Anthony, you can build some speed on this downhill. That's really hard here. Okay, so for Rob and David, you're going to be entering the tunnel soon. On the second lap, I'll tell you where you need to drop the anvil, if you're kind of familiar with it. So the front group, there might be a few anvils that might be dropped, come to, uh, like a few hundred meters. Uh, so just be ready to just in case, just in case that does happen. There's a little sky bridge up in the distance. That's where you want to drop the anvil, second lap. So that's still time here, so a lot of people will accelerate this lap. And the right when you hit this point is where you'll hit the apple.
But it doesn't look like he's actually sprinting too much, so. Looking good, just kind of sit on his wheels. Right, so you see so this little sky bridge you're going under right now? On the second lap, when you get to the other side of this little skywalk, that's where you'll drop your anvil. Okay, thanks. The round is here, where you want to drop it. Casey, you're going on that little step bridge right now. On the other side is where you want to drop down, but on the second lap. So right around here is where you want to start your sprint. Next lap, of course. David and Rob, the second climb starts in one kilometer. <laughs> Our team's okay, so up his wheels. Your group sees a group ahead, uh, so they might be increasing. You can downhill on the escalator, see if you can build some momentum and get to the front. big group that was kind of like really gunny it. Yeah. But if you were in the front group, you'd have a little bit more recovery. Yeah. Our second climb is going to be starting soon. So remember the first part is draftable. At the bend of the road is where the climb begins. It's a little bit steeper on this part, but short, and we'll taper off. All right, so make sure you're kind of in the middle of the group at this point. If you're a little worried about this, Part, you want to be a little close to the front of the group. Okay. 
You're going to hit the steep section really soon. Sorry, 7%. And you're going to hit the 10% here. So remember, you just need to make it to that left-hand corner on the mini-map. It is short and it is worth the pressure. You do want to be with the group. So you do need to dig a little bit deeper. Do it. Save your feather for the fourth section. We're going to save right there. Give Gene right beside you guys to work together. David, you are in a perfect position right now. Just stay right behind those wheels next to you. Make you do the work for you. So Jean and Rob, push a little harder. You want to be at the back of this group. You're almost at the top of this little seat section. Just dig for about 10 seconds and you will have a drop. All the way in. Punch a little bit further, Jean. You're almost at the draft section. It won't be worth the section right now. A rock just quick 10 seconds, and you'll be right to the group. This next section is only 4 to 6%. Do you do benefit from the draft? If you need to punch for five seconds really hard, do it. Follow Bartlett. He's trying to make the jump. Good job, Rob. A little bit more and you'll be able to recover. Doing great. We're going to be in the final row seat section soon. My feather. I don't want to use the feather yet. I'll tell you when to use it. Okay. Uh, yeah, so hold the feather for a moment. We're going to be hitting a section, I guess, to 10% around the next corner. Dave, if you're using kilometers, when it hits 18.9, you want to use it. So that's another 200 meters. If you're using miles, I think that would be 10.8. So just hold the feather just a little bit longer. All right, great work. Right through, you're passing a bunch of guys. Looking really strong right now, David. You see the end in the distance, right where those trees are? Get right on Frank's wheel. He's the guy that a uh, colorful red and green jersey. Come on, David. It's only 15 minutes of climbing left. You can see the end. 20 seconds. Keep pressing. Stay right with these guys. You'll have a deep downhill and recover. All right, David, just dig a little bit more. You want to be with this group. I know it hurts, but recovery is coming soon.
final two seconds and you'll be going downhill. This really push hard here is going to be worth it. But David, here's you downhill. He is a little bit air tough right now. Great job, David. So you can get first wheel. This tends to start in one kilometer. Good job, Rob. Just a little steep downhill section. Do you have feet people coming behind you? All right, good job, Dean. You can see those trees in distance. That's the top of the climb. You will have recovery in a moment. There are three guys right behind you. You need to on the downhill. Good job, Coben. You can see the end. If you want to use it, if you haven't used your feather yet, you can use it now. You have about 15 minutes left of climbing, so maybe about 20 seconds left. As we're casing, we're going to be in the final deep section in just a moment. So stay strong. So David, hold on to your anvil until the finish sprint. I don't think very many people will be using on the descent here. Everyone's kind of thinking the same thing. And you can arrow tag on these descents too. Uh, just make sure you're going at least go to seven kilometers an hour. There's one guy with an anvil coming through, but the group draft is good enough that you can stay in there. Alright, CJ, just keep pressing. You're almost at the top. You want to make sure you're with these three guys so you can get some drafting. Alright, James, you have three guys just right behind you. You guys have a fast group coming. There's looks to be a few guys coming in right behind you. All right, looking really good, Casey. You're almost at the top. About another 12 meters of climbing left, and you'll be at the top, and you'll have a quick descent. All right, Toby, you're kind of on your own. Um, so if you can get an arrow tuck, you might be able to get some good speed. So right around this corner, if you do a quick sprint of about five seconds and the arrow tuck, you might be able to make some time to the group ahead of you. David, in 500 meters, we have the second escalator.
All right, Dave, get ready for a 10 second burst. Okay, start to ramp up a little bit. You don't have to go full up sprint, but you just want to make sure you're with a group and within contact. Nice work, now just surf the wheels. Tobin, you're making up some time to the group ahead. Just continue what you're doing. Try another quick sprint around this corner. Yeah, you have close eight seconds on the group three ahead of you. Just enough to stay with the group on this escalator. The closest group is 22 seconds behind you. Hey, Jean, you're coming up towards the escalator. So just get ready for a 10 second burst. All right, so you just fight just to make sure you're with these two guys. <laughs> As we're going to come to another steep section of downhill, you can air pack. And there's one guy right behind you. So you two can work together to get back on. In case you just enjoy the air pack, there is one guy at three seconds back. All right, David, come up towards the final little short hill. You just want to make sure you're climbing the middle of the group. Just in case somebody decides to do something crazy. You'll have a downhill coming up afterwards. Great. I just stay right in the middle of this group here. Yeah, you're in a great position right now, David. Just stay right where you got. You caught the group ahead. All right, so you just get ready for the escalator. All right, Rob, just do it. Just as much as you need to, just stay with this group. You'll have a downhill, which is around the corner. You just want to make sure you're kind of in the middle, enjoying the drop. Give you your great spot. Try to recover as much as you can. Just have a few rollers here, so you'll kind of notice like a little variation in pace.
Where do I drop the anvil? Uh, at 28.7 kilometers, you have one kilometer to go. You have to go through the tunnel first. 28.7. So, when you exit this tunnel, you have 900 meters to go. Okay. And about 20 seconds after you exit is where you want to use the anvil. There'll be a little sky okay. bridge that goes across the road. Okay. Some people start to accelerate and maybe drop the anvil a little early, but you'll get the most out of it. By dropping a bit later. So just make sure you're kind of in the middle of the group just in case someone decides to accelerate a little bit. Sure. Yep, you're looking good. You're still in the draft. All right, and about 300 meters is where you want to drop the anvil. All right, so just use this little uphill to build some speed. See that little sky bridge across the road? Yep. On the opposite side of it is where you want the anvil to drop. All right, so just build some speed here. Drop the anvil and start sprinting. You make up a lot of time. There are two downhill sections. All right, set anvil down and go. Really use these downhills. You can use all the momentum. Play uphill here, just push power. And all the way down the hill. Come on, David, you can get top 10 today. All the way. Keep pressing, keep pressing. Every position matters. You got the speed, keep it up. Good job, David. Okay, Rob. Uh, you'll be using the anvil in a moment. You see a little sky break ahead. So the group will start to go some speed of this little climb here. All right, so belt to speed here, Rob. Drop an anvil in 10 seconds. See everyone else guys draft? All right, drop the anvil and start sprinting. We really use this downhill here. Belt to speed. Work, Rob. You went faster than all these other guys. Full uphill here that you can just hit some more power. You can pass this guy ahead of you. Good work. And down downhill. Press all the way to the finish. Okay, same thing, Gene. Use this part here to build some speed. Drop the anvil. All right, you start to accelerate. Drop the anvil now. Right. You have downhill section here, so really just get on the power to build the speed. Nice work, Gene. Short uphill here, just hit the power. And it'll be downhill finish right after. Uh, All the way, Gene. You got this. One guy's trying to close in on you. But, yeah, follow this guy's heel here. All the way, Gene. You're looking really good right now. Looking strong. All right, Tobin, get ready to drop the anvil in five seconds. Okay, Tobin. Drop the anvil and start sprinting. You have downhill coming up. So really just hit the power, build as much speed as you can here. Use this downhill as much as you can. Okay, 
Yeah. Well, Helen Carey, just really punch it. And this guy right behind you. And punch the final little bit. All the way to finish. We're Tobin. Keep pushing, keep pushing. There's one guy four meters back. Give it everything you have. Nice work. 